Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rupi. So today we are going to talk about fluoride. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, please make sure you give me a like and a subscribe. Put your notifications on so that you get notified when I come on next with my next video. Okay, so today let's talk about the fluoride in our water. So best thing to do is to actually go and check with your local authorities because I don't know which country you're in. Uh, I'm going to talk about the US only because I've got the information there, but um, you know, you need to check with your local water authorities to see whether fluoride is in your water or whether it's been reduced and how much. Uh, I'm sure you can find those things. So if you just connect with them. Uh, so since 1962, the US uh, Department of Health and Human Services actually urged the government to put fluoride in the water to try and prevent or, you know, help with tooth decay or dental decay, as we know it. And fluoride can have some benefits okay now the cdc uh, from some findings actually and research medical research actually found that only topical fluoride may be of some benefit okay for that sort of thing for dental decay but not uh, ingesting it so why are we drinking it <laughs> like why are we drinking fluoride if it's in the water if it's not effective you know if it has to be topical it's a topical treatment not you know uh, something that we should be ingesting into our bodies because it's probably toxic. Um, so the FDA actually never approved it as being safe and effective. How about that? That's a bit of a concern, I think, myself. Anyway, uh, so if you're concerned, first check with your water authorities. And if you're going to purchase a Kanga machine, then my suggestion to you is that you, you know, if you're concerned about fluoride in your water or you know that you've got fluoride in your water, then you want to get one of those pre-filters. So the water goes from the tap through the pre-filter, which will remove the fluoride, the selenium, the arsenic, those type of things. And then it'll go through to the Kangen machine and give you that beautiful pure water that we know Kangen for. Now, don't worry about the other minerals. It's not going to remove that. It's going to leave the good stuff like the sodium, the magnesium, the potassium, all those things that we need for good bones and for the health of our bodies. OK, what what we need. So you don't have to worry about that. It's going to leave all the good stuff, but it's going to remove all the nasties. OK, and then you'll have some good drinking water. Now, those filters will last at least for about 500 gallons. I mean, obviously, it depends how much on your usage and how big a family you have maybe you know it depends on the usage of the water so that's it from me for today so i hope that information was useful if you like this kind of information then please make sure you give me a like a subscribe put your notifications on that way you'll get to hear when my next video is on okay if you've got any questions please connect and of course if you want to get your machine just connect and i can help you and i'll get you started obviously you know and it's all free um you know my my help is free to get you started drinking your water. Okay, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye.